Welcome to the 2020 Champions League final between Nottingham Forest and Manchester United at the Millennium Stadium. I've made it this far, I can't quite believe it. At one point I just didn't think I would do it. Going close against Bayern Munich, going close against Man City, turning around the first leg deficit in that semi-final and now I get the chance to take on Manchester United, another English team. It always seems to be the way for me on Football Manager. Whenever I get to the latter stages of the Champions League, I tend to face other English teams. It, it's strange, but that's always what happens for me. So, it really is massive, because this is basically the end of the series, guys. Um, I will be doing one more video after this, just to do a series overview and see how I've done with Rotherham beforehand, remember, and then Nottingham Forest, just to just to round off the series. I've decided I won't continue whether I win or lose, simply because of the lack of interest in the series now. There's a few of you guys that stuck around, uh, but I'd like to move on to other new things now. We've, we've discovered that the Forest Flourish is overpowered tactic with a team that really is lower Premier League quality can do well in the Champions League and the league. I have actually won the league. I'll give a quick update before starting this match as to what's happened since that last video. In the last video we beat Man City in the second leg of the Champions League semi-final. And then we got a couple of draws, two all against Norwich, bit disappointing but I did play a slightly weaker team before drawing four all against Liverpool. We were actually three, we went, it was one all uh, yeah, so an early goal from Sombolonga. Let's go through this. Then a, a goal from Henderson. Goal from a Sombolonga once again. Then McCabe made it 3-1 before Coutinho. And then Alcacer with a goal and a penalty to take them into the lead 4-3 before Masinda equalised not long after that. So a crazy game, but it's just a usual game in the life of Nottingham Forest, really, for me. Before beating Man City 4-0, amazing win, another 4-0 against Man City. Will Keane with three goals and Wilson with a goal. Brilliant hat-trick from Keane there. It does mean we've scored a hell of a lot of goals against Man City this season because we beat them 8-4 at one point, didn't we? And we beat them 4-3 in the Capital One Cup. There's the 8-4 win. Oh, how many goals? It's so ridiculous how many goals we have scored against Manchester City. So in the Premier League, we ended up winning the league by five points. 85 points, five ahead of Chelsea, eight ahead of Man United who we're taking on today. So we are actually favourites for this, funnily enough. Asamba Longa top scorer, 27 goals in the league. McCabe, Halilovic and Asamba Longa top three average rating. Most assists, Keane, Valencia, McCabe. Most man of the matches, McCabe and Halilovic. We have been dominant. We really have. Let's look at some of the other statistics now before we get on with this final. You can see there, uh, key passes once again, a huge amount for McKay, but this time Halilovic up there as well of 210. Both of them phenomenal, the key passes. Whatever I have done, it is just ridiculous. McKay gets a lot of long throw key passes. I have mentioned this a few times, people keep asking, but McKay gets a lot of key passes from long throws. Halilovic just gets a lot of key passes because of that advanced playmaker role. He is perfect in it. He's getting a lot from corners as well and set pieces. It really is stupid. It's so overpowered. We'll have a quick look at the uh, awards as well. So, player of the month, there we go. Golden Glove, don't think my... Uh, no, Howarth wasn't in there. We conceded far too many goals. Footballer, footballer of the year, McCabe has won it for a second season running. Ridiculous. Uh, goal of the month, Halilovic got a couple, as did Bill Keane. And goal of the season was won by Halilovic. Let's just have a quick look at this. So this was the goal, the one, one goal of the season. Halilovic, lovely curling effort into the far corner. Probably wouldn't win goal of the season most times. Um, but yeah, pretty happy for him to win that. I don't usually win goal of the season. Manager of the month, I won that a couple of times. I won manager of the year for a second season running. Uh, players play of the year was Alan Halalovic because of his just crazy average rating, got quite a few goals and assists as well. Players team of the year, has that been decided yet? I think so. We've got Will Keane in there, Halilovic, McCabe, Asamba Longa. excellent stuff. Players young player, we didn't get that. Top goal scorer, Asamba Longa, we've seen that already. 
So yeah, oh, incredible season. I will go over the squad overview at the end because of other competitions. We'll, we'll look at goals and that sort of thing at the end of the final. So this is the team I've gone with to face Man United. It's my first 11, my first choice 11. Fabregas injured for two to three months with a slip disc means he doesn't make the bench today. So, yep, I'll be going with Halilovic, Cohen and McCabe in central midfield, which I would prefer to do anyway. Cohen hasn't really been brilliant re recently, um, although his um, average rating suggests otherwise. He's my most solid central midfielder and works best in that central role. Keane and Nassan Malonga have the chance of becoming the Champions League top scorer this season. They're both on eight goals behind Destro of nine. So if they can get a goal or two, then they can go ahead of him. Oh, I am nervous because it, to end the series with this, one game, it's either a win or a loss. It's going to go the distance, possibly. I am nervous. And I hope you guys that uh, have maybe clicked on the video because it's the Champions League final and maybe you haven't watched the rest of the series. I hope you enjoy it. You may be wondering why the team is so weak and how I've got so far. This tactic is just so overpowered. You can download it. Oh, so many questions here. You can download it from the Steam Workshop. I've done a video on it as well. So if you click on the playlist link somewhere and uh, find that video where I talk about the tactic, then yeah, there's a link in that video. Um, if you want to try it out, be warned though, it, it, defensively it's poor. If you look, we've conceded 91 goals in 58 games. And since the update, it really has been very poor defensively. But that might be because of the players I have. If you can get, you know, Mats Hummels and Thiago Silva at the back, then maybe it'll be a bit different. Maybe we'll be able to have quite a strong defence. Okay, what shall I say? Fans have been fantastic, should I say that? Or should I say continue where we left off? Calm. I want you to pick up where you left off. Let's go for that and then give a bit of a passionate team talk to the midfield. Will Keane, 32 goals this season. Sombra longer 37. They have been magnificent. What can we do against Man United? who are playing a solid formation to probably try and prevent us from scoring. They've got a good team. They've got very good players. With Berardi up front, he's lethal. Still got one matter. Blind got a, a similar defence to what they have in real life, really. Luke Shaw at the back, Rojo as well. It's, oh, it's a boring game so far. It's no, no. Maybe their tactic is actually stopping us. But we've got a long throw. A Samba longer scores. We're one 0 up. That's his 38th goal of the season, and that is ninth goal in the Champions League this season. He's been magnificent. They do seem to take it in turns him and Keaton to be top scorer, but Keaton. I still managed to get 30 goals, 32 goals this season. Is my penalty taker though? He does get a few from penalties. But we're one nil up. This could be crucial. Another set piece here. Will Keane? Oh, he scores as well. <laughs> They're both up to nine goals in the Champions League this season. 33rd goal of the season for him. We do rely on set pieces against the big teams, especially, and it's no different today. Long throw and a corner. Keane decided to go for goal from there. He's a specialist at that. Most other players, if I put them on that right-hand side of the strike force and they're in that position from corners, they do mess up. But Will Keane knows what to do. He either sets someone up or he scores. So, yeah, very happy with that first half. We have been comfortable. I'm just going to turn off much higher tempo. We don't need to be as, you know, attacking in that sense. I'm going to stick with attacking but turn to flexible. We have been so comfortable. They've done nothing. But that can all change. Our defence can sometimes capitulate, as you know. McCabe into Valencia. Can we... No. No no highlight there. Come Veliquez, go after that. He's been good this season, getting quite a few goals. I, my defence have been pretty poor defensively. But they've they've still got good high ratings. It's strange. Will Keane can't make it three. But Veliquez has scored uh, about six goals, I think, this season. My defenders don't usually get many goals. Even from the set pieces, it's still the strikers that score from them. Good tackle, Grimaldo, but they're still on the ball. They brought Falcao on. They've obviously changed up a bit to try and make a difference. Halilovic into Valencia. Through, can't quite get it through to uh, uh, Samba Longa. And I think I will make some changes in a second. Maybe go counter. 
try and hold out a bit. Veliquez, okay, this is nice play. We play out of defense and it works. It's amazing. Valencia goes to Keane to Asomba Longa. Good save, but offside. I think I will make a change or two now. Valencia will come off. I'm going to go counter. Valencia is going to come off for James Wilson. He's been called up to the England squad for the Euros, along with Will Keane and Howarth. Considering James Wilson hasn't really been prolific for me, it's it's quite impressive that he's got called up to the England team. Obviously, has made some sort of impact. I think he's got a fair number of assists for me. I'll bring Cohen off for... No, I won't bring Cohen off. I think we'll stick with that. Just one sub for now. There's no point in making subs for the sake of it. I always seem to make that mistake. McCabe, long throw, keen. Samba longer, blocked. Good save by De Gea. It is De Gea in goal, isn't it? Didn't actually check. Another long throw. McCabe, Halilovic. Samba longer. Oh, and that time he does beat the keeper. I don't even know. If the, they are playing De Gea, he's number 13, like, that's what confused me, I wasn't sure if he was, why he's number 13, is he number 13 in real life? Maybe he is, unless they've got a different keeper now, playing number one. Halilovic is going to come off, he's quite tired, he's had a brilliant season, deserves a standing ovation for his season this season. And I think I'll bring off, oh, well, Sambalonga's on a hat-trick, so I won't bring him off. I will bring off Aduro for Yedlin, I think. Another another corner. We've got so many goals from set pieces, but De Gea catches that one. 3-0. We've had 22 shots, four clear-cut chances. We have been dominant. We really have. They haven't managed to hold us out. And I'm happy that defence currently have hold, held firm, which is unusual. Although we did beat um, Man City 4-0 twice. Sometimes against the weaker teams, we're just a bit complacent and get mullered. Keen, can he play it through? Asamba longer. Cross it in. Keane, he scores. Is that Keane or Halilovic? It is Halilovic. Just before he went off the pitch, he gets a goal. And it was a, an assist from Asamba Longa as well. He's had a really good final here. Powered it home. Just ran in and basically pushed Keane out of the way, I think. And we have been comfortable today. 4-0 in the Champions League final. Who'd have thought it? I suppose it's... It would, wouldn't happen usually, but this uh, forest flourish is just ridiculous. Masinda, Sambalonga, oh, he gets his hat trick in the Champions League final. 40th goal of the season for him. Easily the top scorer in the competition as well. And my top scorer this season by quite a distance after uh, in the end. Seven goals ahead of Keane. Powered it home. What a goal. 5 0. This is the way to end the series. This really is. We're about to be European champions. Nottingham Forest are about to be European champions once again. I'm emulating Clough here. Although he won two, I, I just I'm not going to be doing another simply because it, it's just a dead series now. Let's be honest. There might be some more of you watching this final with me because it's the final we've won. It's five nil. Man of the match for Asamba Longa, as you would imagine. 9.7, three goals and an assist. Halilovic with a goal and an assist. Valencia with an assist. Wilkin with a goal and Masinda with an assist as well. What a final, what a result. We have been magnificent. And that is the way to round off the series. The perfect way to round off the series. Sensational stuff. Let's see what the media thought of that. Celebrate a double. Champions League, Capital One Cup. We've won the treble. We've won the league. Fans are jubilant. Hold on one of top English managers. Let's see the Hall of Fame. I am... S oh, wait, that's me with West Ham. I'm on here twice. Yeah, so that was Rotherham and uh, Nottingham Forest, of course. All the things I've won. Just think, I won... Only three, four years ago, I won League One with Rotherham after getting relegated. Unbelievable. We'll look at that in more detail in the next video where I just do a series overview. But wow, we have, I have done pretty well considering where I was recently. Wilson in disbelief. 
Some were longer leaves, Nottingham fans purring. So let's look at the squad and see. Top scorer, Britt Sumberlonga, 40 goals. Will Keane with 33, Halilovic with 18, Woodrow with 13, Wilson with 8. And nicely shared around amongst other players as well. Average rating, McCabe, 8.65. He is insane. Halilovic with an 8.09 as well. Ridiculous. Let's look at the assists. 22 for McCabe, 20 for Halilovic. 14, oh wait, I haven't gone in order here. 22 for McCabe and Valencia. Keane with 21. Sumberlunga, no, Halilovic with 20. Sumberlunga with 14 and Wilson with 10. Wow. Just wow. It is incredible what we have managed to achieve this season. Thank you so much for the support. Those of you that have stayed with me throughout from the beginning. Thanks very much for watching this final. Wow. We've won it. We've won the Champions League. And I've won the league. I've won everything, basically, with Nottingham Forest. There we go. Episode 32 will be out in the next couple of days. And that will be a series overview of how I've done as a manager on this save. And just to look through everything in a bit more detail. Maybe some other things like World Cups and Euros as well. And possibly, I'll, I'll see what I do. I'll see what I remember to do in that video. Um, I'm on a high now. I've won the Champions League. It's magnificent. So thanks for watching. Please hit that like button for winning the Champions League. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, please leave any thoughts in the comment section below. That would be much appreciated. I will see you very shortly.